<laughs> hey guys, welcome to a nice little bonus episode here, where today, we're going to be talking about terrorists! Now, I know, it might be a little soon, and I'm going to try and promise not to take this too far. Um, but let's start this off by reviewing some of the definitions for the term terrorist. Number one, a person usually a member, okay, a person usually a member of a group who uses or advocates terrorism. Okay, so right off the top there, we get a pretty clear get definition. So what happened down in, um, what happened down in Florida doesn't necessarily, like, the guy didn't necessarily have to be part of ISIS to be a terrorist. So, I, I know there's been a lot of debate, should we call this a terrorist act just yet? Well, by definition, yes, yes we can. It is totally feasible. So, with that out the way, let's kind of, let's just overview kind of what we know. Is just a few of the basics before we really dig into this. So we know that the man was actually born here, um, so it technically makes him a citizen. Um, there hasn't been much reference of his parents or anything like that, but we do know that uh, that he knew people, that he had friends that were connected with ISIS. Let's see, what else do we know? Um, we know. He was yelling shit about ISIS and how much he loved them just before, you know, he was taken out or he did what he did, whatever the fuck, because, you know, apparently that's just what it means. To have faith in what you truly believe in means that you go ha have to go attack and kill random innocent people because peace, right? Like, I'm sorry, didn't we learn nothing from the Crusades? I mean, is that really what's going on here? Okay, so we know those few things. We do know those things. What else do we know? He was cleared of the terrorist watch after how many years? Um, should he have been under it in the beginning? Um, I would... S well, as it turns out, most would say yes and most would argue yes. But I would say, hell, if you were born here, if you're a fucking citizen... I, I don't know. But then again, I mean, he could have been tied in for the people that he knew, as it apparently turned out he had some sort of connection to people involved in 9-11. At least that's from something I heard. I don't know if that part is true or not. So I probably shouldn't have even mentioned it, but fuck it. I'm pissed off, man. I mean, I, I have friends that live down in Florida. I got people that like to go out and go to the clubs, and you know what? They can't go out and have a good time without the fear of some fucking asshole coming and shooting him up. Now, don't get me wrong, I know that there is a total difference between Muslims and these radical Muslims. Um, I got friends that are Muslims, some of the most peaceful, loving people I know. You know, it's... I got nothing against that. I don't have anything against the religion itself. What I have against is the fucking radical of any kind. I don't care what it is. If it's radical, it's probably going too far. There's just certain certain levels you shouldn't take shit to, such as this. And you know, a lot of people are saying like this is like the you know the worst slaughter we've had in American history. And I'm going to debate that a little bit because you know I'll say the most horrific slaughter in American history done by a single individual. I'll compromise with that, um, but let's not discredit um, the Civil War or the conflicts with, you know, between the Native Americans, both Wounded Knee and the Trail of Tears. You know, just just to mention a few. I mean, I mean that's where we would lose thousands upon millions of lives. And okay, so I mean, don't get me wrong. This is this is a horrible act. It was a horrible thing never should have fucking happened, especially because it, it wasn't, there was no real political message behind it, other than, I love ISIS, boom. Other than that, what, what was the point? What did you accomplish? All you did was take people away from their families. For no fucking, people that have nothing to do with your conflict. Other than, 
they represent something that you don't like. And that's just a load of fucking shit to me. Like, I'm sorry, and now... Some people are asking me, do I think this is going to affect the p politics at all? And I think it probably could. I mean, especially now we have Obama yet again blaming guns instead of the individual behind it. Which is a load of shit, dude. I don't care how much training this kid had. He himself decided to do what he did. And guess what? We've had other shootings throughout history. In American history, and not even that long ago. There's been quite a few in the last couple of years, actually. Where other people have done the same thing. Younger people have done the exact same thing. And they don't even have any fucking training. So, I think common sense here is going to tell us let's stop blaming guns more and also especially NRA and American guns as well when most of the guns people purchase illegally on the streets aren't even from here they're smuggled in illegally from other fucking countries by other gangs and mafias and shit that's like like who does not know this and it's bullshit that we have politicians going up on these podiums and not addressing the actual source of where this shit is coming from. Instead, we have... We have them sitting there going, Oh no, it's the gun's fault. If guns didn't exist, they wouldn't have done this. Oh, the fuck they wouldn't have. If we didn't have guns, he would have ran in there with a fucking sword or something else. He would have figured out... He would have archered... He would have fucking used a like bow and arrow or a crossbow or some shit. It still would have happened. It just wouldn't have been with bullets. Let's make that perfectly fucking clear. So I think that's going to have, most likely, I mean, at least for people that know this, that realize this, that actually have common sense, especially now that Obama is backing Hillary, and, well, Obama's got, already has a bunch of his own shit going on. I think it's um, the black Democrats or the black Republicans are revolting against him now saying that he hasn't done enough for their communities, he hasn't done enough for America, as well as many other people. I mean, having Obama back you up is like carrying around a bag of shit at this point. So, that's going to reflect pretty, uh, in my opinion, I mean, I could be totally wrong, especially with the amount of stupid and ignorant people we have in our country. Yeah, so... It could be that Hillary will win just because of that aspect. But for those who are intelligent, everyone's going to be like, well, um, I'd rather see Trump. Because he wants to do more to protect our country. And even he knows, acknowledges, I mean, I think it was just a few months ago when there was someone who was brought in front of Congress. I believe she... I can't remember her actual title, but she was a higher up... Um, in the department that handles foreign visas and stuff like that, couldn't provide any documentation for any basic things such as who is running up on their visas, how many visas have we given out in the last couple years or something like that. She didn't have any of it. Which means that there are not thorough enough backgrounds for people that come in here. Which means, like, the filter to ensure our country and make sure anyone coming in here is not a terrorist is pretty much at fucking zero. And you know what? It's That's kind of a scary thing to think about, especially you would have think or thought that would have been the first thing that we should have thought of right after 9-11. But no, instead, you know, it, let's not worry about that as to where, I'm sorry, but yes, Trump does bring that up and he does want to take care of that and find a solution. In fact, it, just up until today would be the first time that I've heard Hillary give a speech that did not revolve around Donald Trump. For the first time, she's actually starting to cover some topics in very vague ways. As to where Trump this entire time, sure, he'll bash a few people here and there, but most nine times out of ten, he's trying to get to the point. So... My speculation of all this is I'm tired of bullshitters, and that's why I'm with Trump. That's why I'm voting for him. 
He's the only one that's not afraid to be an asshole. He's the only one that's not afraid to be fucking honest. Everyone else wants to sit there and wrap themselves in a nice blanket and be like, Well, the, he's not proper, he's misogynistic, and blah 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 blah. What the fuck ever. He makes jokes and sometimes they're not nice. whoop de fucking do yeah, I'm, I'm just so tired of people nitpicking at the small shit. Oh my god, god forbid. Okay. The worst thing that Trump is under right now is something regarding his taxes as to where Hillary Clinton had over 30,000 emails against her that she deleted. Won't even talk about them. No one knows what was in them. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure... I don't think e any... I don't think there's anything either have done that no other politician has done. It's just, let's throw it out there to hype shit up and make things interesting. Either way, my speculation here is just that... I I'm tired of just this back and forth mudslinging bullshit. And don't get me wrong, yeah, I get a little tired of Donald Trump making his stupid remarks as well. I'm not going to disagree with that. But I believe, when it comes down to actual problems, actual things that we should be worried about, Trump is the only one that's actually caring to thoroughly address them. I mean, let's just give credit where credit's due there. Otherwise, yeah, I would totally be on any other candidate's side. If they gave just as much, and if not more, effort to actually give a shit about our country, so that way we can start. I mean, preventing shit like this. Now I know in this situation that's really more of a coin toss because, you know, again, this kid was born here before he did what he did. And you saw how do you how do you make sure how do you ensure that? Other than the fact that yeah, he had allegations that he knew people. Well, I mean as long as we keep that filter on and keep an eye out, I think you know, that's, that's a good way to start, but I also believe that, yeah, we do need to start taking more precautions on our country, who comes in, who comes out, and all that shit. I mean, that's just common fucking sense. If any other country, if it were any other fucking country that were going through what we've been going through, trust me, their fucking borders would have been closed off, or at least had much more of a stronger filter on them. Now that we're getting into that topic, as to where, you know, another reason I'm voting for Trump is, I'm sorry, but yes, I'm also tired of illegal immigrants coming here and taking advantage. Now, before anyone starts on that rant, let me clarify something real quick. My great-grandparents came here. Um, I'll give one example um, of my mother's side my mother's father's side. Okay, his parents. When they came here, it was the during the Polish invasion of Ukraine. Um, I believe it was around the 1920s. I could be wrong. I haven't looked into it in quite a while. But, you know, they came here. They swore an oath that they would learn the language. And yes, there is a set language. Read the fucking Declaration of Independence before you even try to contest me on that. Anyways, so they came here, they swore an oath to the language that they would adapt and get jobs and help, you know, support the economy. It's a very fucking simple thing. Something like that, like, if you truly want to come here or if you want to go to any other country, guess what? It's the same fucking thing. You gotta learn their lifestyle, you gotta learn how they operate and how you can contribute. It's just how it is. It's common fucking sense. Sick. I'm tired of everyone acting like this place has to be a giant fucking playground slash fucking daycare where we take care of everyone and everything's problems. I mean, I'm not completely against, like, financial support or anyone that needs help. I mean, I look at it as like this. Like, if you've hit rock bottom, if you're in a tough place in your life, you just need a little help, a little financial support so you can get back on your own feet, hey, yeah, that's fine. You know, give some sort of, you know restriction on it so it's not like they can just sit off of it forever. A, definitely put drug tests on that shit and I know that there's a few states that have been doing that and kudos to them because I'm sorry but anyone who has to fucking make that money cycle into um, 
that financial support has to pass a drug test. People with real jobs have to pass a drug test, so that way their tax money can go to you and support you. So it's only fair that you're taking, you know, doing drug tests as well, especially when it's like this. If you're on your ass, if you're at rock bottom, the last thing you need to be worried about is getting high. Just common fucking sense. You should be worried about working, getting a job, getting your shit established. You know, and going back to this whole terrorist incident, man, I, again, I got friends that live down there, I mean, as soon as I heard about this shit yesterday, first thing I fucking did was hit up my friends going, you know, down there going, you know, are you okay, are you alive, you know, I've been talking with some of them, like, all day, because some of them, you know, they knew people that were there, and that shit happened. You know, luckily, no one that I knew was there or in the situation. You know, it's... But still, I mean, even for them. Or even those people's families, like... That's fucking horrible. I'm sorry, I'm tired of our country constantly being in fear. Constantly feeling weak. Constantly feeling like... We're hopeless. Feeling like we gotta make way for everyone else just so we don't get annihilated like now we got these laws that says you know Muslims can treat us however the fuck they want to but if we make fun of them then you know it's a horrible crime and we're being insensitive I'm sorry man I'm an American I believe in freedom of speech freedom of, of expression and m my main idealism the reason that you know I run my channel I believe we should all be able to make fun of each other and laugh as equals. I'm sorry, I'm tired of special privilege for any group of people. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's ISIS. I don't care if it's fucking feminists. I don't care if it's Black Lives Matter or whatever. I believe if we were to, if we we're all all of us, all these all these groups, we're gonna sit down and just figure out what the fuck is bothering you, man. Like seriously, like just just ask each other what's bothering you. What what can we agree upon? Let's let's find a common thing to build and start with. And like, well, okay, we shouldn't include ISIS. They just want to destroy in the name of whatever the fuck. But either way, I mean, even feminists or Black Lives Matter, it's like, you know, those are two groups that are just reaching out for equality and, you know, they, okay, equality is equality. That's fine. I'm not against that. What I'm against is, again, people who just want special privilege, which there are quite a few of them out there. Equality is equality. That means we are equal. Not one is any better than the other. Not one is any worse than the other. It means if a black dude is going to go around his workplace making white jokes, then a white dude should be able to go around making black jokes. Pretty fucking simple concept. Let it happen. I'm just tired of all of this fucking double standard bullshit as if we're in fucking special ed or some shit. I'm just... I'm raging right now, dudes. Fucking bullshit that we just live in a time and age where everything has to revolve around sacrificing the many to save a few. I'm ready to just, why, why don't we just fucking find equal ground? Commonplace, blah, blah, blah. Instead, you know, we have people that argue just because of whatever political party name that they prefer more. Instead of thinking like individuals. It's like you got people who rant against liberals just because they can. You got people who rant against Democrats just because they can, just so that way they can sound intelligent, even though they're just extremely fucking ignorant. Again, fucking equality. And you know, it's, I'm sorry, but I, I believe that anyone who considers themselves to be part of some sort of political party truly is ignorant, because, you know, it was even George Washington himself who advised us to against political parties because it would ruin the nation by separating people instead of doing what we're supposed to do and 
that is be united, be together. And it's so fucking true, like, I don't care who you are. Like, everyone is just at each other's fucking throats just because of a fucking name. What's the difference between the Minnesota Vikings and the Green Bay Packers? The colors of their uniforms. That's it. Otherwise, they're, they're both the same fucking thing. They're a football team. That's it. Fucking end of debate. So, now that we have that clarified... You know, I mean, I, I'm just at the point of I'd rather just finish up this round, chillax, and, you know, wait for other people's responses, see what they think, get some speculation on this. Because, again, my point in all of this is, and I know I'm coming off extremely passionate right now, but my main point is, again, I'm not trying to discriminate against Muslims as a whole. I'm not trying to put any group at blame more than any other at this point. I mean, other than the individual who done the, who did this, and if they're officially in tied into ISIS, then yes. If he was under their orders, then I would put the blame on them as well. Otherwise, in this situation, he acted on his own. He did what he did. It's his own choice. Not the guns. Not video games not a movies it was his so I mean that's just common fucking fact and I know a lot of people are gonna be offended by all this they're gonna get butthurt and honestly I just okay I'm not gonna be told they can say I don't care I'm just gonna say okay express your thoughts <laughs> let me know okay what your disgruntlement is with all of this you know let, let's communicate let's talk about it let's be open-minded here because I admit, I I know I probably sound ignorant as shit because of just how much rage I feel over the whole thing about our entire society, society as a whole right now. Alright guys, well, I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, go ahead, leave comments, you know, leave your thoughts, you know, Share with your friends, hit the like button, the dislike button, you know, whatever your heart tells you, uh, and I'll see you guys later.